please like this video leave a comment and don't forget to share all right welcome to scanning tv on youtube it was Wolverhampton one blessed this is chelsea in the epl and once again chelsea was not able to pick the three points and chelsea had to pick one from this particular match this means that manchester city has a six point lead in the epl title race i feel it is over for chelsea I feel it is done and dusted for Chelsea in this particular season. I don't know about you, but hey, let's be real to ourselves. We are going to the match. Why Chelsea drew? Why Chelsea was not able to score after having over 60% possession? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit on the bell, so that whenever I upload any new video, you'll be the first person to watch. Leave a comment and let's begin. So Chelsea had to travel all the way to meet Wolverhampton Wanderers in the EPL, and um, the match actually ended 0-0 in this particular fixture i in particular am very very disappointed in chelsea's performance this particular uh, match or in some matches now chelsea is not able to play in that teamwork that chelsea used to have first chelsea was attacking from all angles shooting from all angles scoring from all angles and today chelsea had to play about eight shots and chelsea had to get one clear chance only one clear chance in this particular match and still Chelsea was not able to score. You can look at the scrolling here. You will see how things went in this particular match. How Chelsea was able to dominate possession, especially in the second half. The first half, I feel it was awful. So the game actually began when Chelsea had Ngolo Kante back in the setup. Chelsea also had um, Trevor Chaluba playing as the central um, midfielder or the defensive midfielder to shift the defense of Chelsea. So Chelsea today they didn't concede any goal, which is a very good thing for Chelsea. But unfortunately, Chelsea was not able to score any goal as well, and the match had to end 0-0 in this particular fixture. Now, let me go to some other players who actually started, whether they did well or they didn't do well in this particular fixture. I feel our defense was not all that super. Um, Wolverhampton Warriors actually scored a goal against Chelsea when Podes scored a goal, but it was lacked offside. So, I feel it was okay. The defense was okay. The midfield not really combative because in the first half we all saw how Wolverhampton Wanderers actually dominated the game especially in the midfield they were able to bully Chelsea Chelsea was not able to create a lot of chances because the balls going upwards or going to the attackers was not in there like that let me come to the attack ZH out of field ZH didn't perform all that well today um police playing as false nine of course he was usually lost in the game and I'm having Macy Mount pairing at the top there I feel it didn't work out great for Chelsea because Chelsea has a lot of injury concerns and those injury concerns definitely you can't blame it on the coach there are a lot of COVID issues Lukaku is out Movena is out a lot of players the list goes on and on and on and I'm playing this match against Wolverhampton Wanderers who is one of the best teams currently their form is so much superb they are winning a lot of matches their last match we saw them traveling all the way to beat Brighton and Hope Albion while one goal to zero and Chelsea today meeting them I particularly felt like Chelsea should pick up a 1-0 win here, but hey, it didn't work out. Chelsea came in in the second half, came in strongly, trying to create some chances, trying to shoot, but still, Chelsea had to come out with all zeros. That means that no goal actually came in this particular fish. And now, looking into the Chelsea team very well, today, it was a good thing for us to get a clean sheet against Will because Chelsea has considered so much after conceding that goal against Manchester United, Chelsea went on to concede three, concede two, concede um, um, two again. So Chelsea needed this particular match to actually prove something. So Chelsea, defensive and um, the goalkeeping, I think it was super, not really super, but still the work lies on the midfield and the attack because Chelsea need to create a lot of chances and Chelsea need to score. When you create chances and you're not able to score, that means that there is a problem because Chelsea is chasing uh, Manchester City right now and Liverpool has played only 17 matches and when they play their next match, they if they win, that means they are bypassing Chelsea. That's at the time this video is being made, Liverpool is yet to play against Tottenham Hotspur and if Liverpool also wins, that means they also jump into 43 and Chelsea is stuck at four, um, 38 points. So I think it's a very, very bad result for Chelsea. No EPL title again. Let's come back and concentrate on the Champions League or any other trophies because even though Manchester City, I'm not saying that no team can beat Man City, though Man City can be beaten, they're a beatable team. But the rate at which Manchester City, whenever they are on top of the league, they win their matches. If you are not chasing up 
Hey, forget it. Because by the time you realize Manchester City has won about 10 matches on a row or 12 matches on a row, and they are giving a wide gap. If you are losing or you are not picking up the maximum points in your matches. So Chelsea against and Wolves have to end this way. And Chelsea have to walk home with no goal, with nothing but only one point to show. And um, now it is six points. That means that Chelsea has to chase Manchester City, who has opened a six-point gap in the EPL. So this is a quick reaction for you on the Chelsea versus Wolverhampton match. Not too much to, to, to talk about because there were no goals. So whatever we have is what we saw. So Chelsea versus Wolf. And we shall meet later to talk more about Chelsea news and other stuffs. Until then, take care. Please subscribe to the channel and hit on the notification bell for more.